Okay, in this video I want to connect to my database and display some data. I've already started up a little bit here. I've got a web page going. Uh, nothing fancy on it, of course. I've got some embedded styles where I'm going to be controlling a future table. I have yet to create this table. Uh, the table is going to have a red border, a light yellow background. It's going to have a table header row with, um, of course, naturally bold font, but also it's going to have a thicker black bottom border, and then the cells are going to have a uh, thinner gray bottom border. And I'm going to go right into the body section after my headline one here, and I'm going to display some PHP. Uh, PHP is going to check, is going to connect to the database, it's going to retrieve the data, and it's going to display the data in my database, uh, in my, particularly my table, as part of a table. It's going to get the table from the database and display it in a and an HTML table that is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up some PHP and I'll just kind of work in this little section right here. Something that I did before on inserting data, I'm going to include my PHP file, my connect PHP file. Uh, so I'm going to use that same connection, I'm going to connect there it is right there, it was the original one, my connect MySQL PHP file, and I'm going to go ahead and set some variables. I'm going to make one uh, SQL get, and I'm going to select all fields from my people table. There we go. And then that uh, SQL data in order to, to, I'm going to take the data from this result, I'm going to have to run a MySQL query, basically to, to, to use this select statement up here. So I'm going to use the MySQL I query function, I've used that one before, and I have to reference, of course, my DB connection variable from the connection PHP script. and my SQL get variable which I just created above. Okay, so that's how I'm going to run the query. It's going to be part of this SQL data variable. And I'll just put in a generic, uh, generic uh, die function message. There we go. Takes care of that part. Now I'm going to start to display a table. Remember I'm actually working the visible portion of my web page right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do an echo and create a table tag. Oops. And I'll start to create the first row, table header row. I'm going to have the ID displayed. I'm going to have the first name display. And I'll have the last name display. There we go. Now for the various rows of my table, since I have multiple rows, in fact, I'm, we can say I have an unknown number of rows in my database, I want to create a uh, kind of a loop in order to check for each row and start to display data. So for this, so I'll have a while function. And I'm going to create a variable in here called row which will be equivalent to a MySQLi fetch, fetch, array, MySQLi fetch array function. Again, a while statement is very similar to a uh, if statement. You know, say, well, while this the thing is true, it's going to keep doing it until it's no longer true. So MySQLi fetch array within the set of parentheses for that particular function, I'm going to put in my uh, database data. Remember, this is a uh, oops. Sorry, it's going to be SQL data, not database data. SQL data is going to be my my func. I'm um, sorry, my uh, my MySQL query. So SQL data is the variable that represents my query. SQL get is the variable that represents the actual SQL statement. Okay, so there's my SQL data, and I'm also going to put in MySQLi association. Now I'm going to start to display what I want each row to look like. So I'm going to do a series of echoes. 
So they're going to have a TR and a TD, the beginning of a row, the beginning of a cell. Then I'm going to have the row variable. And I'll display people ID. Now this is coming from my database, my 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 MySQL database and the field names in, in particular. So there's the people ID field. I'm going to finish that cell and start a new cell. Another piece of data. I'm going to get the um, first name. In that cell, start another cell. Then I'll display the last name. Finish the last cell and finish the row. Okay. And that'll be the end of the PHP there. And then I'll simply do another echo and display the finish of the table. Oops. There, so that would complete my table. All right, so now I'm going to test this out. I think I've got everything I need, so I'm going to go ahead and save this and check it out on the browser. Okay, and there is my display data PHP script. Click it, and there's my table with my data from my database.